Teachers, environmentalists, immigrant rights advocates, and the Working Families Alliance, which has endorsed Bernie Sanders, shouted at the arriving donors to Senator Cory Booker's midday presidential fundraiser at Nanina's in the Park. They also took aim at George Norcross and the billion-plus dollars of state tax incentives awarded to Norcross companies and associates of Norcross. And they criticized Essex County Executive Joe DiVincenzo for taking federal dollars to house immigrant detainees in the county jail and Booker for taking campaign donations from both hosts of the $2,800 a plate presidential fundraiser. Two nights ago, Cory Booker stood in front of the United States of America and told everyone that he didn't believe in corporations running the government. And now George Norcross and the, honest, the less than honest DiVincenzo are having a fundraiser for him. I don't get that. It sounds hypocritical to me. sure is. Norcross and DiVincenzo declined to comment. In a statement, the Booker campaign said, anyone who knows Corey knows that he's never hesitated to stand up and fight tough fights, speak out against injustice, and work to build a more fair and just country. After Booker stood on stage for part one of NBC News' Democrats' presidential debate, he said part two showed Vice President Biden will have to do a lot of explaining about his record after Biden defended his vote against busing black students to white schools in the 1970s in an exchange with California Senator Kamala Harris. I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I opposed. Well, I there did was not a failure of, of states to, to integrate no, public schools in America. I was part of the, the second class to integrate Berkeley, the, California public schools almost two decades after Brown v. Board of Education. Because your city council made that decision. It was a so local decision. So that's where the federal government must step now, in. Today, Biden said 60 seconds in a debate can't define a lifetime commitment to civil rights. All of a sudden, everybody ran down, ran into each other, and... I guess we wrestled around a little bit. Former Montclair Fire Chief Kevin Allen recalls the first day white students from Upper Montclair were bused to Nishawane Elementary in the South End. He saw last night's exchange. I didn't really understand uh, Vice President, President uh, Biden's explanation. I, it sounded like he was saying that uh, he supported uh, more of a state's rights view about busing. It was really you know, almost shocking, to be honest. I, you know, like, really? Allen says a lot of good came from busing. Allen says after all these years, he doesn't think Biden gets it. Michael Hill, NJTV News.